always having ideas of what the community means, what does it really mean to be on a community living with people. And I started traveling as when I finished high school, I started doing traveling, solo traveling, finding myself, being in situations where I don't know anyone and I don't know anything in one place. And that feeling of the unknown for me, it's what I'm the most passionate about. It's what make me feel fire and just where I'm going to sleep tonight. I don't know. I love this feeling. And I don't know if any one of you relate with that, but it's that feeling of like letting go so much control that when we allow situations to just happen and surrender and completely surrender, that's when adventures happen. And I can say I'm an adventure addict. I love adventures and adventures are what make me breathe and roar and sing and I love adventures and I love papayas. So welcome, thank you so much for being here. My name is Alejandro Glatt and I'm the first Mexican artist in history of humanity to send a papaya to the moon. <laughs> and it happened exactly two weeks ago, February 14, in Cape Canaveral, Florida, a space rocket operated by NASA and SpaceX launched and left the orbit of this planet with the artwork from 222 artists, 222 artists from all over the world. And I was selected to represent with United Nations, Mexico, with the Mexican papaya in the moon for the next six billion years. So there's going to be a copy in the Smithsonian Museum of Washington. I'm, a, I'm doing an exhibition in the Louvre Museum in Paris in two weeks. So things are getting very serious in here. <laughs> And yes, I'm only 29 years old. I'm a Capricorn, as you might felt it too. And I've been really, really fit, be living in a process of constantly just trusting and feeling so much fear. Rabbi, come to the talk, Rabbi, please. You know, for the Rabbi, we're doing an amazing Shabbat at 5.30 with the Groovy Jew and our, our crew. So please join us after in the whole stage of Love Scouts. So I was speaking about how much I love this feeling of really not planning what's going to happen and completely surrender to a situation. And people, a lot of people say you should be prepared if anything happens. I'm a all in. People think you, sh you should put your eggs in different uh, boxes, in different nests. I am completely against that. I feel all I do, I put all my life and passion and work into how I can change the world through connecting humanity and freedom through fruits and feelings. Hey! So, yes, I've been really, really developing a whole movement on the last year, 2023. I did 35 cities, festivals around the world, just moving from Ibiza to Costa Rica to Tulum to just going around the world, shows in Miami, shows in LA, shows in New York, Art Basel. It's just like being, 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 following something that I don't know what is it. And everything started with a papaya. I, I've been loving papaya and fruit has been something so special for me. So in Tulum, starting to build altars with fruit and honoring fruit and really learning and teaching people how just by taking a moment to close your eyes. Everyone, close your eyes and big breath in. A little out. Ah, uh, come on, come on. Big breath in and out. Uh, so that feeling of relaxation mixed with the feeling and the taste of a fresh fruit in you, it's a combination that is just so powerful because I didn't invent anything. I just learned how to connect with my feeling and with smells by meditation, by presence, and learn my passion for fruit and my passion for nature. So I just put together two concepts, which is being mindful, being aware, it's nature, not no nada. <laughs> being aware of everything and at the same time mixing it with fruit. And what I realized after this creation was if you combine awareness plus fruit, it's a bomb of sensuality. Also, people 
my first ever experience with fruta was in Turkey after doing a video mapping on the night on the festival Project Heart in Kabak Valley in Turkey, having fruit and we said, let's just play with the fruit and breathe. And five minutes later, everyone was with their shirts off, rubbing papaya on their face, cranberries on the back, banana on the feet, kissing each other. I was like, what is going on? So, but come on, I'm so passionate for filming. So I was like filming with my GoPro camera, like this, everyone, and even bare my feet on the fire that was on their video. Because I was like, I was so in the moment, I was like, what did just happen? Fruit and awareness and consciousness together, sensuality, playfulness. <sighs> Immediately, a guy came to me and he was like, what's the name of this? Because I have a hotel in Tulum and I wanted to come on and host it. And I was like, fruit healing. Fruit healing, yes, fruit healing. Why? And then, a ho, 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 wait. Why are you a healer? Who told you that you're a healer? How do you look like you're... I don't know, I just like to play with fruits. <laughs> so the project started to evolve, and my family having reunions with me, like, Alejandro, what are you doing with your life? You're living in Tulum, and just like doing these ceremonies, people rubbing papayas on each other. What is that? And I was like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I really don't know what I'm doing. But this again, and just trusting and the philosophy of, I don't know where I'm going to sleep tonight. The philosophy of, I don't know what's going to be my next income in my bank account. I don't know. Everything is about just being there and showing up and smiling to every single moment. So I started finding this connection with like sensuality and fruit and started like people started to inviting me to do places, experiences in Tulum, in hotels, then on a retreat, then a friend invited me to a baby shower party, so everyone was rubbing like the avocado on their friend belly, and they, they invite me to do a birthday party, and then they invite me to do a wedding, in San Miguel Allende, I was like, the one presenting the fruit and doing a ritual of like standing on the grapes to make wine and then drink it from there. Just all my journey has been by exploring and improvising. It's completely for self improvising. Like it's about feeling and it's about just doing and flowing. And I feel this and I see that. And I so on March 8th today, five years ago, my friend Pamela, who has a feminist movement and podcast she was like i love what you're doing it's super hot let's do a workshop for women to learn how to touch themselves through fruit and i was like i love the idea <laughs> I, and she and she's and the name is get the juices flowing well, let's get the juices flowing of course i'll be there don't worry i'll take care of everything i'll bring something on my lap why i've been where i right now is because when i say something I operate completely and I've been doing this for so many years that I know every single detail. The extension, the knife, the box, how to travel with it, how to get the first, like, it needs being experience, 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 experience. But that in that day, so I was like, yes, I'll take care of everything. I arrived with my knife, the fruit, we cut it, everyone went, and they, they were like, please, we're going to have a woman moment, we don't need you here. I was like, okay, I just brought the fruit, don't worry. <laughs> so... They were playing, having fun, say thank you, I left. And after that day, I started getting notification on my phone of somebody tag you in this story, tag you in this story, tag you in this story, tag you in this story. March 8th, which is a Women's Day, International Women's Day, someone saw my work and decided that I was a, a clown and I was something that I was just like telling girls to get naked because I was eating fruit, which I never told any girl to get naked, I promise. <laughs> but people that don't know who am I and what's my project about started attacking me, saying like, people telling things, charlatan in Mexico, they say like a liar or someone inventing something. And he's like, Alejandro Glad study business in Mexico. And he's saying he's a healer. Who can say that Alejandro is a healer? And I was like, I don't know. And I'm just exploring and I'm just really doing what I'm doing for flowing and understanding how every single action that I do has a reaction. And that's why I have a papaya in the moon. <laughs> so 
Yes, after doing, I did a Vipassan of 10 days in Israel a few months ago, and I had like 10 very, very, very realizations. And one is that I'm crazy, and yes, I'm crazy. And I'm, I'm not normal, I, I understand I'm not normal, and when I'm around people, I feel different, and I do feel that I'm crazy, but I am crazy. <laughs> and it's just to accept it. So, coming back to everything, because I, I wanted to say this uh, March 8th really had an impact so much in me and a trauma because I don't want to be a bad person and I want to attack anyone. And I'm here in this world just to connect others with nature and love and I don't want to harm anyone. My intention in this world is to change the world by what I said, connecting humans and freedom through fruits and feelings. That's why I am here in this world. And everything that happens around is learning because I've done mistakes in my life. So fucking many mistakes. So many mistakes. So many. Like, I haven't been in jail yet. I haven't died yet. So my mistakes haven't been that bad. But I've done many stupid mistakes in my life. And that's how I've learned. And since I've been a kid, that's how I learned. So I was in Tulum doing this ceremony, started to do like events and retreats. February 14th, they invited me to do a, it was two gay couples, fruit ceremony, Valentine's Day, private. And I was like, if you pay, I'll do it. <laughs> so it was amazing. And I realized how everyone can connect with fruits, kids, grandparents, like crazy how by doing these practices of just getting people around fruit, calling it, smelling it. I don't know if you visit already the papaya portal, the whole installation that, no, you haven't been? So it, for the third year in Ambition, I'm hosting a whole space where people can come, connect, eat fruit all day and all night long, and just receive you. It's in the Love Scouts, and please come. It will be an honor, but I discovered that. I, I'm working with the most simple medias that you can imagine, which is fruit, that everyone can fr find fruit in every single market of every single country of the world, basically. After doing many years of traveling with three projectors and cables and in Bali doing this whole video mapping, start to rain, get fucked up the projector, uh, until I found fruit, that I can find fruit in every single market, the first single part of the world. Call it, put it, it can rain on it, people eat it, interact, finish, there's nothing else. Compost? Wow, I was like, fruit is very effective to do big creations and I'm gonna keep going with the fruit. So that's why there's a papaya in the moon right now. So I've been doing so many, you can believe how hard I work. And I want to recognize to myself, like congratulations, I feel very proud of me because I work so, 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 so much. And my biggest priority in my life, it's my purpose and it's my project. And I'm gonna, I'm doing everything, moving. I'm a great connector, I'm a great networker, I'm a great builder, I'm a, I know how to do Photoshop, Illustrator, YouTube, edits, designs, uh, control events, been doing festivals for many years, how to book artists, like, I've learned so many skills in my life for doing so many things that who I am right now, it's a consequence of everything. And I've been living for the last two years of my life and my 100% income has been from selling my art, my art pieces. These mirrors that I started developing after using the papaya as a concept and then how to do art that represent papaya. And then once the shape was appropriate and like my special papaya shape, I started mixing with different colors and started different with different textures and mirrors. And this one we have the, the Mexican manita saying, oh, it's two dias, like playing with pop culture. Most of my art collectors are in Miami and in New York. I was mostly in Miami and I've been making a living out of making papaya shaped mirrors. Look at this one with the, with the troll, it's purple and it's like, they're trippy. And everything is where you put it on, on concept because these pieces are, I just took them from an art gallery in South Beach in Collins Street on the best location of Miami, the most, the most finest gallery called Elena Bulatavo Fine Art. So everything has been about that, just like being there, setting up, doing everything myself. As you see right now, I'm with help, but I, I orchestrated, putting the art, 
get, get in the microphone, get in the papaya. I'm filming right now and I'm going to edit what I'm filming right now with the microphone that I want to put here to record everything. Like, my work is completely multidisciplinary. And when people ask me if I'm a plastic artist, if I'm a digital artist, I just create. And I just create, create, and I never stop creating. I, I'm very unstable, but I can say that most of the days of my life I post something on social media, not this last days but every day i'm there you know and posting and doing and connecting and right now two hours ago i was already coordinating my show for baja california and the show i'm gonna do in paris like i'm all the time so present but all the time what's next what's next what's next and the papaya got into the moon and that's something so wild because two years in art basel i had my show and again i learned from life that if they told me you can put art i'm not gonna show up with one small papaya if they invite me, I'm going to bring 10 huge papayas, lighting installation, I'm going to coordinate everything, fly with everything, pay for everything, get help. Like, when people give me an opportunity like this, I take the whole, 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 whole piece. Why? Because I'm a rebel. Many times I get in trouble. I was in Argentina in this uh, crypto event, and I didn't care, and I just show up with my papayas and put them in the art gallery. I was like... They're beautiful, and I'm in Argentina, and I didn't speak with the person in charge, but they're more beautiful, or even they're beautiful. I'm going to play them there. Two hours later, ah, so you're on the hang of, yeah. kick me out of it. Happened many times. They kicked me out from art first in, in Miami of presenting peace. Like, I'm very rebel, and I'm very controversial. And I'm not normal, and I'm crazy, and that's who I am. And I love who I am. I, I haven't done any plant medicine any ayahuasca, even if I play about papaya ayahuasca, I never tried papaya ayahuasca, never tried very, very intense substances. Because people say that once you do it, my life is going to change. And I don't want my life to change. I love my life. And I don't want my life to change. So maybe it's fear, come from fear, but I am someone that I haven't done many, I'm so open mind, but at the same time, so fearful from many things, because I know that when I love something, it's going to be normal. And when something is normal for me, it loses the magic. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm against the, the normal. But coming back, so how we got to the moon to the papaya. <laughs> the first moon in the papaya. So. I was in Miami two years ago. They told, invited me to put one piece, and I ended up putting like eight three meter high mirrors, portals where you can see yourself reflected in the papaya and an intervention of a whole tree. Like, really, 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 when people tell me that door, I go all in and put everything. So, Alina. <laughs> so, I got in there. And. This guy arrives and he's like, man, I love your project. It's so cool. I want to invite you to a museum on the moon. And I'm like, ah. another guy from Miami who are like full of shit. And I was like, yeah, no, really, really. We're doing a mission, putting art in the moon for the first time in history. And I was like, I'll, let's make a call. And we made a call and another call. And took two years, got delayed five times. But finally, after so much effort, on February 14, less than three weeks ago, I was in Cape Canaveral in the gala, where it was the gala with all these celebrities and like people from all over the world, people from NASA, people like the art collectors and people in the industry of like space and industry of art and industry of crypto and NFTs, like something very, very relevant for humanity because since 1972 was the last time United States had a successful landed in the moon. So 56 years later, it was a landing on the moon with art. And on the art, there was a papaya. <laughs> Why? Because I made all my connections and plugs. And when someone gave me a door, I took the whole opportunity. And I arrived, prepared for the gala with nine pieces like this. And they told me that I was having permission to put two. But what I learned in my life, my art is so beautiful and my art is so like 
functional because everyone loves mirrors and everyone loves colors and everyone a space with my art looks so much beautiful than a space without my art and that's why i'm here to make beautiful spaces so i show up to the kennedy space center security like who are you long story short i was the only artist that took art to the event so the whole gala was full of my pieces and on the red carpet i even i even made a piece of the doll that was going to the moon too who is the dog of the of the coordinator of the mission so of course he want, if i want to connect with the big guy i'm gonna make a piece of his dog printed on a papaya he loved it he put it on the red carpet this other gallery i collaborate with other artists i take every single opportunity and make it huge and i feel that's the way to do life and the way to succeed just like never stop never stop never stop and finally the gala night all my art around all the celebrities photo i was wearing a papaya suit with like all papayas around and the speeches the council like people from government was something like very 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 historical and my papayas were there i, I was feeling like a celebrity artist and a big artist important in the world because it's happening so finally the speech is about to launch na 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 it's already and then someone approached my my ear and it's ariel one of my biggest art collectors and she told me twitter just posted that the launch was postponed <laughs> and i was like no puede ser o sea can be like you made this whole event and it's not gonna launch the rocket no it's postponed so they, they finished the speech and they were like well thank you very much the lunch was postponed enjoy your night <laughs> i was supposed to dj there i was djing from 12 to 2 and when the lunch didn't happen i didn't even i lost my it was a chaos and they just said it was postponed thank you for coming and i was like we flew all the way to florida with all the art to do the gala and the lunch, the rocket is not launching and the next day there was another gathering with another gallerist and I had another big connection. Everything is about showing up like, hi, I am Alejandro. I am a Mexican artist. I make papayas. Look what we're doing. You're going to love it. It's I, I, I know and I have trust like my art is. It's the project that is going to be the most remembered project in history of humanity. People are going to remember me and my project as people remember Picasso, as people remember Van Gogh. Why? Because artists nowadays are not about having a beautiful technique to paint or make us a sculpture. With the mediums that we have right now, AI, how we can 3D print things, the value of, of building something beautiful, it's losing its, its value day by day. Because handmade things are being replicated so, 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 so similar. So, artists that are changing the world right now are the artists that inspire to have what they say a storytelling but uh, what a storytelling means is a movement it's a story it's a how do you want to change the world what's the way to change the world inspiring others making others change what they have making others just like open their eyes and that's what i'm doing and that's what i'm doing so hard but if I can tell you some advice, or maybe not advice, but I love what I do. And I believe so much in what I do. Like, I know that fruit is changing the world. And maybe, not maybe, I make many mistakes. And I recognize I have things that I'm not good at. I'm not a good leader. I don't, I don't know how to keep a schedule. I don't know how to fo follow up someone that I meet on an event. I have many things that I'm not good at and people tell me that I should get a team, that I should get an assistant, that I, I just, it's hard for me, many things, but I know the things that I'm very good at, which is my energy, my, my passion and my love for life and for creating and just the ability to scan things and say, okay, this got my attention, I'm going to follow this pattern, just go, 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 and happen to me in everything, like, I got into crypto and NFTs and everything was about crypto and NFTs. Then I got into mirrors. Oh, I'm so passionate. So, so, so passionate. I'm like with all my focus in one thing. <sighs> and that's it. I feel you're very tired. 
So, we're gonna play a game. <laughs> but we're gonna play a game. And I, every time I speak about how, how many achievements and how successful I am right now and everything, I love to always remember where everything came from, which is from the fruits. And appropriating a fruit, every day I hear two, three things, every single day of my life, every single day of my life, I get three things that happen to me. Number one, someone asks me, and why papayas? Every single day of my life, and why papayas? Why papayas? I dream about that. Why papayas? Why papayas? <laughs> Second thing, number two, that people always told me is you should make a papaya with <laughs> inside. Like everyone always thinks, what can I put in my next art pieces? Every single day. You should put that. I love it. It uh, gives me many things to think about. And thing number three that every day happens to me is that I eat fruit every day. I start my day with fruit every single day. And if I, I pass day that I only eat fruit. I pass day that I, whatever happens, but until I eat fruit, I don't eat anything else in the day. That's a rule that I invited to do that challenge of like, just knowing that the first thing, that that's what it's called the breakfast. We're breaking the fast. And we, we breakfast with the fruit. So maybe some of you already have breakfast. But we're gonna fill this papaya all together. But do you have any questions so far? <laughs> the papaya is in the moon already. February twenty second, twenty twenty four, landed successfully landed on the moon with the artwork of two hundred and twenty two artists, and some of them are Jeff Koons. I don't know if you know a guy called Beethoven. He has one of his pieces, music pieces in there, the pianist. And yes, it's very important in the world. So already happened. Yes, really. How much for the purple one? That's a great question. And we're going to do an auction right now. OK? So I'm, I'm donating half of this piece because I'm going to ship it and then everyone who buys the piece, I'm going to ship it all the way to your home, wherever you are in the world. So whatever we come up, the shipping is included. OK? So really, how, how much are you going to be for it to start? Uh, $18. $18. OK. $18. <laughs> who, who in here wants to give $18 for this piece? $100. $100 for the piece. OK, $100 for the troll. Let me just tell you the inspiration of it. I've been having a troll since Israel, since Ashwara, and trolls are one of my spirit animals. So we are in $100, $100, $100, $100, $1,500. Give it up, give it up. OK, so $1,500 with shipping where? Costa Rica, perfect, shipping here. So $1,500, we're going to say $1,500 at one. One thousand five hundred dollars a two. One thousand five hundred dollars a three. Hermano, pásale, pásale. Wow, brother. De verdad? Sí, bueno. ¿Cómo lo pasas? Okay. Este, Bitcoin. Oral. Por Bitcoin, aquí está en fucking Bitcoin. Amazing. That's technology. So, what I do, every single piece that I have has an NFT connected. So you're basically buying a crypto papaya with a troll on it. <laughs> Amazing, brother. So, yes, I... Did you see what just happened? Did you know I was thinking that I was going to make $1,500 today? No. <laughs> no, but I'm prepared. I have the art, I have the microphone, I have the piece. I brought it all the way from Mexico to the camp to come to here, set it up, make it down, move it. And right now, I just got a compensation that with what you're going to pay me, I'm going to fly, pay my flight to Mexico and to Israel. And the next maybe two weeks of my life, I'm probably more. But you see how it's 
doing things for without knowing what's going to happen. It's doing my best. It's doing. I know things are going to work out, and I know that are high and lows and high and lows. But I trust so much, and I'm someone that I I don't uh, save money at all. Every piece, every dollar spending in so late and I'm not buying stupid stuff. I'm investing everything I have on me and on my project, like traveling the world, buying more, more materials to make more art, starting a studio. Right now, I'm being represented by a gallery in Miami, by a gallery in LA, closing with a gallery in Mexico City, and have a gallery in Tel Aviv. And big galleries, like the art world, the thing is how you connect the art world and the natural, aware, spiritual, conscious world, which is ambition. And which, as you can see, and I don't know if you've been in the gallery here, the art is very psychedelic. And my art is psychedelic, but my art is just joyful. It's joyful. And it's using fruit and using papayas and using trolls and using teletobies and using pop icons that people relate with to just say, OK, I love your piece. I want to invest on it. Because what you do is, is an investment. I'm selling my pieces. I'm selling custom pieces for a 10K in Miami. Like, it's happening. It's happening. And yesterday on the Luna stage, I found Jeff Parker. And he's the first person that bought me an art piece for $1,000, like, four years ago. And I was, like, so grateful with him. I was like, brother, you trusted me and you paid. And money is energy. And as we get money and we give money is energy. Why money is energy? Because in order to travel to Israel and to Paris in the next two weeks, I need to pay a, a flight and that's it. For for I, I also have the the idea that we're all gonna be able to live together in nature, being completely, completely uh, sustainable. But it's not the reality in the world we live because when I started with my project in Tulum. I had so many people advising me what to do, and they were like, you need to stay in Tulum, and you need to make people from all over the world come to Tulum, have your space, and people come, visit your space, live your experience, and then buy art from your studio, or but you be a place where people can and visit you, and, you're, and like, your project is a, an attraction that people come to. And I didn't listen to that advice. I don't, I don't believe in that. I believe if I want to impact Two billion people in the next two years. I need to take a flight, pack my art, grab a metro, a Uber, whatever, and go, 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 and never stop. And every time, taking every single opportunity to make as much as you can. I've been presenting my art, Ambition, Burning Man, South by Southwest, NFT New York, at NFT LA, Art Basel in Miami. I just came from Brazil doing a big New Year's exhibition. If they pay me a whole week to stay in there in a hotel, the flights, everything, the production. I'm going to Tel Aviv, I'm going to Paris, I'm going to LA. Why? Because I believe so much in this. So, 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 so much in this. And on a call with an investor the other day, he told me, if I respect myself, he told me, do you respect yourself? Yes, I respect myself. Sometimes, as every single human, I doubt, and I'm, I feel very confused, many times. But I trust that if I jump in the ocean, eat a fruit, or smoke a joint, things are going to continue. And life is about seeing life through the bigger picture. OK, we're going to play a game. Everyone stand up, please. <laughs> Drink some water if you have. <laughs> no, wait. Sí. Este, dame tu número de teléfono. Órale, por WhatsApp. Te vengo siguiendo los pasos desde hace como un año, cabrón. ¿De veras? Tenemos que conectar. ¿Y, ¿Y vives aquí en Costa Rica? Yo estoy entre Oaxaca y acá, sí, bueno. ¿Y la pieza la quieres aquí? Sí, 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 sí. es para ah. un compita. Very easy. Dale, papi. Nos, te escribo por WhatsApp. Dale. Okay, we're, we're gonna stand up. Thank you so much, brother. And give it one more time with all the peace. <laughs>
the question is if it's gonna pay or not ah. <laughs> because situations like this happen many times so no expectations you know happens so many times and if it happens happens if not not <laughs> Okay, everyone just put your hands up like this and we're gonna shake a little bit, shaking, shaking, shaking our hands, maybe our legs, our knees. And we're gonna say one, two, three, aho! One, two, three, aho! One, two, three, aho! One, two, three, aho! Taking a big breath in. Hands up in the sky, hands up in the sky, and exhale. One more time, big breath in and everything out. Uh, now moving on the position of the song, big breath in like this. And out. Uh, last one, big breath in. Uh, wow. I don't know what I'm gonna say, improvising again. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're gonna open the papaya, of course, because without papaya, there's no party. And tonight we're having a papaya wasca party, Woo! inviting you all here. We're having Shabbat 5.30 and then 6.30 to 8. I'm doing a Jewish DJ set. <laughs> Tuesday, who was there on Tuesday on the DJ set? <laughs> yeah, Tuesday I play like a Afro-Brazilian. <coughs> Very nice. So where's the papaya? Atrás del espejo. So, everyone, let's grab this papaya together. Mati, aunque me odies tú también, man. <laughs> no, no tú, no tú. Amanda, ¿no? Sí, Jasmine. Jasmine, aunque me odies, man. <laughs> okay, so, let's feel how hot it's going to feel. Gracias. <laughs> just let's feel the heat on us. We're just sweating as fuck <laughs> i don't know if you're sweating as much as me because i'm very nervous and i sweat a lot <laughs> but well, yeah let's just feel our hands and where's the papaya on there under the hands a ver a ver let it go let it go let it go y arriba de todos arriba de todos arriba de todos and we're now going to touch the papaya only with two fingers of our hands. <laughs> and now only one finger. <laughs> and let's raise it, raise it, raise it, raise it. <laughs> one finger, one finger. <laughs> and we're going to take our fingers and let's say who keeps it, okay? One, two, three. <laughs> Ay, mira lo que le pasó. Yeah, so, yeah, we're, we're gonna open this papaya. Let me bring the knife. So, we all have a piece. Y le vamos a cantar las mañanitas, ¿no? A la papaya. Estas son las mañanitas que cantaba el rey David. A las muchachas bonitas se las cantamos así. Despierta, papaya, despierta. Mira que ya amaneció. Y a los pájaros canta la luna ya. Se ve yo. Listos, una, dos, tres. <laughs> ah, well. So let's all take a bite of our papaya at the same time. Okay. So everyone facing the papaya. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm first. <laughs> okay, no one is going to go Una, dos, tres. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> And yes, please everyone, thank you Sofia for coming. Thank you so much everyone who came. I really, really, really appreciate. I know I was a little bit confused, but I think I did great. I did great, yes. You did great. And you can follow me. Uh.
on Instagram, Alejandro Glatt, papayastodemoon.com, or I have a gift for every single one of you. I'm gonna give you a papaya necklace like yours. So because you stay until the end, you and the police guards from there and those guys and everyone in this space is getting a papaya. Yeah! <laughs> And you can pass here to get your your papaya huasca initiation. <laughs> a ver, eh, a ver. 